Yeah, uh, no, they're doing good. Um, take care of the ball better, which is, you know, I, I thought we were lo loose with the ball earlier, quarterback. So today we had an interception in the red zone. We're getting more work in the red zone, which will help us uh, in the tight windows and third down and things like that. So, but uh, Casey's done well, Logan's done, Chubba's worked a little bit more, so that's good to see him. Young guys are coming, so. Um, Bunch of really good kids that, that like the game and fun to be around. Well, no, he's had a bunch of. He's had last week a bunch of Skelly reps, seven on seven. Then today he got some team reps, and um, you know he's getting a lot of mental reps, so it's better, better that way functioning. So he's been fine. What's that? Well, I think it's one thing, but I, the way, yeah, everybody's competing, but I think they're really, they're helping one another out. It's a good room. That's important. You know, they're helping one another out. You miss something talking about it. There's guys that are talking a lot in the, in the meetings and on the field. So, you know, there's not anybody, oh, there's not, there's an, not any animosity in, in the group. So they're all trying to get better at different levels and trying to build a library for each of them so that we come back, I can go over with it, you know, before we get to summer. But they'll study their own, all their plays that they've had. Hey, uh, we were talking about your tight ends today. How would you describe your offense for, you know, for a tight end? Like, what, it, what do you like to use those guys do? How do you like to utilize them? Well, uh, we got some good guys. You know, Travis has in practice. He's done stuff on air. But, you know, when I was at UMass and, and – we had Adam Brenneman who transferred from Penn State. I think he led the country at 146 catches in two years. And last year, Lucas Krull was healthy. We lost like three tight ends the year before, so we had to go a lot more four wide. But I think he had 50 catches and the young kid, Gavin Bartholomew, maybe had 25. So, but we, we have capable guys there. And, and the younger guys are really getting better understanding the scheme. So. I don't have a number, you know, the, the ball's predicated, goes to, you know, what the defense is giving you. Certainly we can get guys in certain areas. I think the size of those guys can help you in the red zone. That that would be a place where, you know, we're 6'5", 6'6", six, 6'7", six, 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 down there where the windows are tighter and you got to be physical and catching the ball. And the speed's not as important as is, you know, le learning, you know, uh, you know about leverage on the defenders and those things. So we, we had sessions a Monday. We did a little bit more today. We'll do a little bit more Friday in the red zone. But I see those guys being somewhat of a factor down there. What makes it? Maybe this is an obvious question, but what makes a good red zone offense an effective one that actually scores touchdowns? Down you know, it's always you can run the ball because uh, you know they've got an extra they've got an extra guy with the end line in the red zone that you know where the safeties are tight and you can't because you, unless you're running some option, would, uh, you know, the safety is going to be unaccounted for the quarterback. Now, when you run option, that becomes a little bit some 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 things with a quarterback, but, um, you know, it's, it's just a mix mix that way. But I think our backs, I think, have gotten better. I, we're a little more physical than we've done. Coach, Coach early in the year, the, Coach Applewhite's done a really good job with those guys with pad level. All of them are running a little bit lower, a little bit more balance, and playing for the extra yard. And, and uh, we did have a fumble in the scrimmage last week, but uh, it's really the, the only one we've had, I think, in in, uh, in uh, a lot of a lot of you know tough sessions in there where it's been it's, there's thud, there's tough thud, there's live. So um, I think we've done a good job securing the ball with those guys. Is it, is it frustrating for you trying to install an offense and have so many? Not as not as frustrating as if we didn't have those guys. You know, they're going to be back. We know they're good players. So to me, it's a positive. We just try to be positive with it. We're building depth. You know, and uh, so the more guys that we have, we're going to, you know, we're going to get guys hurt. And we're trying to say this. I think the one positive about Nebraska is uh, we're running two thuds. We're running two skellies. We have enough players here. We have enough with the walk-ons and those guys that a lot of guys are getting reps, so so they're getting better, and, and that builds your depth. We didn't have that at places I've been, certainly UMass, Pitt, even, you know, that way. We didn't have that at Miami. We didn't have we didn't have enough guys when I was there, so that's really helping. I told those guys, I said, just, you're really lucky to be here. 
and with a chance to get on film and get better. So I think our depth has grown, and we know we'll get those guys back come the summer. Hey, Mark, in particular at, at tight end, how has What's the, that? In particular at tight end, how, how has the absence of some of you mentioned Travis, but how has the absence of some of the other guys impacted what, you, what you've been able to install? What you've been able to install? No, I mean, it's the same. With, with those guys are getting reps. So as I said, you know, the younger guys are, they move up, the next guy's got to be ready. So. We're not really game, I'm not game planning. We're just trying to install a bunch of plays and things that way that we build a library. Similar to what we've done in the NFL. So if those guys should go back, and when those when they're throwing on their own, they know what this term means, what this concept. So we're giving them a lot, a lot of different concepts. And, and we'll continue to do that on Friday and, and next week on, on I think we're in practice on Monday. What's the, what's the, the quarterbacks, what's the importance of Practice less important, more important. How do you see that? Yeah, I don't. I don't. The way spring games have gone now, you know, you want to get out. Of, in my mind, we want to get out of it healthy. It's like, is that going to make the difference? I don't. It does on some guys. I think it's more for the younger guys that haven't got as many reps. I don't really know how we're going to do the spring game. We haven't even talked about it. But uh, it's not. I mean, you know, it's not, I don't see it. Casey Thompson has played in, against Oklahoma. He's played against those, you know, some of the young guys, maybe. But just not like it used to be in the old days where you were 15 full pad days, and that was, I mean, you pretty much know. Now, there's some guys that can make 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 headway there that they play well, you know, and some guys they play really bad. But, you know, there's a bunch of tape that we've had. So I, I, I don't I said, I don't know how we go, we're going about it, so I'm really worried about it. Cleaning up today's practice and getting ready for Friday. As you've got to know Logan and some others, what, what does he do well and where would you like to see him base drive? He's a good athlete and, and I think he's done a really good job of handling the offense. I think the fundamentals of work, getting him deeper in his drops, we talked about it, he's working on that. His progressions have been better, like a new new thing, new deal that way. Um, he's smart. Like today he, he threw a, he threw an interception and right away you know I gotta throw it here. So, so when you when you make a mistake and then you don't know why you made a mistake, that's what concerns you. But he knows that way, and he's done a good job in the scrimmage, scrimmages that we've had. He's gotten a lot of reps, and uh, I've been pleased with him. He's done a good job. Obviously, that your wide receivers group come along. Obviously, Xavier, Xavier's departure with those other guys. Where, where have they made strides? Uh, no, they've done a really good job. I think we got a good leadership. With some of the older guys and. Um, Alante, we, we moved him and we, we've taken some of the guys to move in a different position, so that gives you more depth also. So Alante's able to play two positions. Trey has been inside, but we'll let him play some outside stuff as we go. Oliver's done a good job. Omar's done a good job. All those younger guys, we've gone to some four wide packages, and that's given some guys some, some new opportunities. You know, and just uh, those guys have run, run a lot. And, and uh, early on, there was some little things that way but I, I I really like where we're going we've got a, we've got a deep room there and um, you know they're getting better every day which receivers do you feel like are the kind of the take the top off guys do you have a sense of who those might be yeah I mean I Trey's fat Trey's the fastest guy and Omar and it will has done good things Oliver's done some good things they they uh, a lot they, they, they've all done those guys I mentioned so we'll move them around which have always done that way I think they've that, We've gone a little bit more of a pro system, meaning that we've instead of keeping guys on the same side, we're moving them left and right, and we're moving them that way. And uh, I think they've done a good job of learning concepts and then learning how we get the plays in that way. So that's, that's been a smoother transition for those receivers than it was like the first week or everybody's kind of worried about it. It's, it's gone without any issues in the two scrimmage. As a matter of fact, the, the second scrimmage was much more just a little cleaner and everything else, and I expect the same thing when we get into camp will be the same way. Mark, we're a couple weeks into this thing. What's the, what's the best thing you've seen? What's the worst thing you've seen that you feel like you have I don't think there's anything really bad besides some guys getting hurt. That's all. That's the one. That's the worst part about the game. You don't want to see anybody get hurt. you got to play physical and tough. And the best thing is, is – these kids are fun. They come to work every day. 
they fought through Monday was a tough day and you kind of when you look at the schedule say hey, you had a scrimmage and then you had, we had a practice on Thursday we scrimmaged and we went you know Tuesday Thursday Saturday got to come right back on Monday six six days and seven with full pads but I thought they did a really good job that way but they're fun to be around um, you know we had a walk through in here which was something new that they before the scrimmage I thought there was a there was a air of confidence but a business-like attitude which is what you want you don't want them all being uptight so I, I you know that way um, and, and we've had good battles with the defense I, I what I've always learned in, in spring practice that <clears throat> if one side is dominating the other you probably don't have a good team but I, I believe we have a good team because defense has made plays offense has bounced back handled adversity so it's a fun group to be around No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Um, you know, we got more things to, to give them. We'd like to at least get it on tape so that they say, okay, this is what it is. So we had about four or five new things. It'll be, you know, probably same thing on, on for Friday and then a few more on, on Monday when we come back. So to the said, I think it's just important for those guys. You'd like to get two days of those things because they see it, and then they, they, they run it, and they rep it, and then they see it on tape, and then they can fix it. They said, like Alante, we've, we've moved positions for him. And his first day was a little, wasn't rough, but not as clean. Today, I get to see it snapped through. So that's what, building depth is what we're trying to do. Hey, you added your, uh, your son to quality control operation, what Scott did. What, are you excited for that, to have him here? Yeah, he's in, he was in that role at Pittsburgh. So he knows the offense. He's been really a, and he played quarterback in a system at, at UMass and played under Billy O'Brien at Penn State. So. We have eight quarterbacks now. I don't. So he does a really good job of handling the other things. He knows the progressions. He knows the footwork. All those things. It's it's a good buffer. Sometimes I can be a. I can be uncomfortable, where he's he's a good, you know, he'll grab the guy on the side if I get after somebody, and uh, so, um, you know, so it's 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 a good thing that way. He knows things, and and uh, so it's been been nice for. For the quarterbacks, it's nice for me, huh? Yeah, we had seven. It did the same. We had seven at Pitt. You like that? I mean, you like having all those guys. Well, you try to get them reps, but they don't get as many. But there's more mental reps, so you got somebody with a sheet on a sideline, and here's what he should be doing in that way. And I said we have a really good room. They're all really good kids. They got some talent, and they're having fun, and that's what's important. Look, Beckton stepped up over there, Sean. Consistent all spring. How would you characterize it what, what, from your vantage point? What have you seen? Well, I think Donnie and Beck and, and Aaron, are the, the assistant to Donnie, is, they've done a really good job instilling confidence in those guys up front that uh, that, that we're going to run the ball. That we always, I always want to be balanced. It might not be yards wise, but plays and everything else. And they one one fits uh, one fits off the other. So I think those guys have done a really good job. And, and uh, I lean on those guys for what they like. And then obviously Coach Frost brings a, brings a lot to the table that way. So we mix it. I think that that marriage has gone really well. I think it's a lot of good things. There, there were a lot of concepts. And, uh, and those guys, I can just see their confidence growing. And I think that's a tribute to, the, to, to uh, Donnie and Aaron. And back. Thank you. Good. All right. Thanks. Great to see you guys. Thanks,